I swear by my respect and my jalal, Allah Ta'ala says. Allah Akbar, listen to this. Allah Ta'ala says, I swear, I promise by my jalal and my, and, my, and my respect. If they look after me and remember me, then I will give them the ghafuriyat, ghaffar, my sift of ghaffar. I will look after them, Allah Ta'ala says. So we looked after Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we remembered Allah, we did tawbah, we tried to leave the sins, we made niya intention to leave the sins, we cried to Allah, we trembled, Laylatul Qadr came, we appreciated that, Laylatul Qadr, we changed ourselves, our faces, our bodies, our appearances. This Allah Ta'ala says, they remembered me. They valued what I told them because I'm their Rabb, and they accepted my hakams and my laws. If I call something haram, they accepted it as haram. If I define something as honest, they, decide, they accepted it as truth. If I said something is incorrect, they accepted it as incorrect. This is called believing and accepting. So Allah Ta'ala swears upon this point. You know when Allah Ta'ala swears and promises, this is Allah's jalal that comes into being. Allah Ta'ala's jalal, Allah's power. Allah Ta'ala says, I swear by my respect and my jalal. This is written in the kitab, this dua. So Alhamdulillah, the sadiq people like you, honest, sincere, and I'm just here trying to get along. We've destroyed the whole world. They're going to come. And they've got their workers. They kept on doing their work in Ramadan. Their workers, they didn't leave their work in different places. They tried the workers. But the head, the king, he's about to be released. Shaitan. Wretched shaitan. He will be here. In the next hour or two, he's preparing. And he's preparing his tools and his methods. And he's saying now to himself, Ah, watch me after Ramadan. I'm going to catch these so-called believers. But what are we? We also ready. You come out and we're going to come out. We've done dhikr of Allah. You come with your plan. Allah Ta'ala has given us that tool that you can come with all your preparation Iblis. But inshallah, we will not let you break our tawbah. Whenever your whispers come to us, straight we're going to go to the company of our shaykh. We will do dhikr of Allah. And this will be the practice. With the promises we made to Allah, that you've made, when whispering of shaitan comes, love of dunya comes, we have to get out of the dunya. We're in the masjid at the moment, we're doing dhikr, we're protected, we're like angels. We think we're angels, but when we leave the masjid and go into the open playing field, when we go to work, our business, dunya, meeting, interaction, wife, children, they'll come from now, you'll start eating. Before you used to eat one samosa, now you'll have ten samosas after Ramadan. And where, uh, mashallah, used to have a few dates and depart, now you're going to wait, the food's coming, and dishes, and three course meals, etc. You're not going to leave the stomach, are we? We're going to fill it up after Ramadan. This is what we're going to do, isn't it? But there's a beautiful technique and cure that Allah Ta'ala has given to us. That you will save yourself and keep your tawbah consistent. You will maintain it throughout the rest of the year. Our tawbah will be saved, inshallah. And you're, you will feel like you're in Ramadan for the rest of the year until the next Ramadan comes. How? Whenever you do any action, and if you do it according to the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa then shaitan won't come close to you. You're taking your shoes off, take the shoes off according to the sunnah. Change your clothes according to the sunnah. Going inside your house according to the sunnah. Every action you do, then think, what is the sunnah? Analyze. When you're about to do an action, how did Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam do this action? And shaitan will have not even a crack. Allah Ta'ala questions and asks in the Quran, do you think Jannah is easy? It's a cheap bargain? You think you will just walk laughing into Jannah without any struggle? Just enjoy yourself luxuries and play games and deceive like today people do? You think Jannah is something insignificant? And when a person gets Jannah, Allah says, Am hasib tum yadkhulul Jannah. That those people, they weren't seeking Jannah. But when the hukam comes for them, this is a key point, listen here carefully, there's a point coming here. The Sahaba Ikram, great noble individuals, they weren't seeking Jannah. They didn't care about Jannah paradise. And for them Allah Ta'ala says, that do you think Jannah is easy? And what were they seeking? They were seeking Allah Ta'ala's pleasure. Allah Ta'ala's happiness. That's what they were seeking. And how much should we then run after and make effort? You brothers, mashallah, here who are Sufis, what are you looking for running after? Allah Ta'ala's pleasure. Radai ilahi. Allah's pleasure. So do we, when we have problems and difficulties and distress in life, and for all of this we leave the path? Just because life's a bit hard? Don't you understand what I'm saying? Conclusion today. Three things. Number one, afdal, great way of pray, pray salah in jama'ah, in congregation, never leave. Do you promise this? Say inshallah. If there's a false sharia excuse, then that's fine, but never leave. This is the final promise. Salah, prayer, in congregation, in the masjid. Number one promise. Never leave this. Promise? You will try your best, you will run. Make haste, I have to go to masjid. You speak honestly the truth, you promise? Say inshallah. Number two, you will live your life 
according to the sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Whatever you know, what you don't know, learn it. If you have not got the ilm, the knowledge, then learn it. But if you know these actions, X, Y, Z, A, B, C, this is sunnah, then implement the sunnah in your life. And number three, dhikr of Allah, embrace the dhikr of Allah. Don't grab it, embrace it. Hug it, squeeze it, face to face, neck to neck. And grab hold of the dhikr of Allah, embrace it from the neck. And squeeze it and don't let it go. You know when your beloved friend comes to your house and you embrace him, you say, oh brother, I'm not going to leave you, I'm going to leave you. And inshallah, you grab hold of dhikr. If you have these three things, this Ramadan inshallah will continue like this for you until the hereafter.